They returned to the palace in triumph. Yet any compliments Hadur had for the companions were most understated in nature. Bouldijai was an unintended obstacle in your proving grounds. Yet you still prevailed. Well done. I had heard a trained Korobansiash could enter the land of the gods, but I did not believe it. Yes, when were dark souls such as his capable of breaching the upper world? Baldijar has no dark soul. He believes his intentions are noble, even heroic. Preposterous. Such indignation. And humans wonder why I so rarely grant them an audience. All over the middle world of Operencia, death, strife, War between brothers over the pettiest of squabbles. Were my own brother's fate not directly tied to yours? A cause rooted in your own selfish desires to live, mind you. Were that not the case, rest assured, you would not be here now. You are right, Your Majesty. We are selfish. We do want to live, but only because we know we are here to save. And not just your brother. Our brothers, our sisters, our parents, our friends, everyone we know. Those we have never met, those we never will meet. It's not perfect out there, true, but the good does outweigh the bad, and that is who we fight for. That is why we are here. Such passionate words. And yet you never resorted to calling out my own hypocrisy? I am your god of war, after all. Your final test is passed, and to war you will go. You were promised magic armor to face the dragon. You shall have it. One person wearing it will protect you all. 
My finest silver wind mares will grant you quick passage to your next destination. If you don't mind my asking, Lord Hador, where might that be? You said before, you had more to tell us. It will look familiar to you, Elia. The very forest where Attila slew Thade decades ago. The sword? Is it there? To be honest, I do not know. My bond with the blade has weakened over the years. But Attila does rest beneath the very river that brought him to that battle. His spirit will have the answer you seek, though not without some resistance. A ghost fight. Yeah, we know that one. I invite you to rest here, Crusaders of Operencia. You leave tomorrow, and tomorrow will not be kind. On Windmares they flew, down the tree, back to the Middleworld, to the beautiful Operentian forest where this grand story began. But its beauty had been scarred. The smell of brimstone filled the air. Something terrible was happening. The forest of Attila's greatest triumph looks nothing like its legend. What has happened here? And what's that smell? Brimstone. We have no easy task ahead of us. We've had no easy task behind us either, but we've done just fine. Yes. Yes, we have, Yoska. And let's keep doing just fine. Shall we? We shall. <laughs> 